one of the easiest ways to get noticed if you ever have to do a public speech or if you're applying for something, if you're in an interview, is to tell a real life story event of either your life or someone else's story. Every single speech that I do, every single speech that I listen to that's been engaging to me has been someone talking about a story or teaching through a story. And stories are the most interesting part, pieces that we remember as, as human beings. We always can relate somehow to someone else's story. So tell your story to help you get further ahead, whether it's an application, an interview, getting up to speak in front of people, your story has power, use it. So I've been re researching a lot of people that I've been looking up to for, for several years now. And one of the things that I have adopted that's really helped to, um, not only have I learned more, but I also uh, just have a more positive look on my life in the future and in business and life. And that is investing in audio programs. What I do is I listen in my vehicle when I'm driving to work, if I'm driving to a speaking engagement, if I'm in the, in the airport, in traffic and so on. I'm listening to an, like an audio book, an audio program, a seminar that's been uh, the pr uh, program to an audio format. So I listen to it on my iPhone and um, I'm listening to that more than music, you know, when I'm, and that's been what's been helping me to remain optimistic. So I'm on the first major rounds of edits for my book that I'm launching this spring summer. And I want to tell you that it's been truly one of the biggest challenges that I've ever had to go through because I'm telling a really deep story, things that people never heard about, uh, other people's stories. And my goal for the book is I want other people to, to get inspired by the story, but also tell their own stories, have the courage to tell their own stories. Because, you know, if I can share the story with you, I really hope that inspires you to do the same thing. So use your story. You know, I really hope that um, this spring, summer, you guys get a chance to read the book and, and it helps you to, to, to take action on the things that you've always had in the back of your mind. And most importantly, tell your story, use it for, to take you where, from where you are to where you want to be, tell your story. When you find yourself changing your the, your circle of influence to people that are around you and you start listening to the right things, whether it be audio programs, reading books and so on, here's what's gonna happen. I wanna give you a hint. Things that used to bug you a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago and so on, won't bother you the same after you invest in yourself. What goes on up here has a direct outcome of everything else in your life, okay? So as you work on yourself, as, you, as you're doing more things that, that, that bring value to your life and you're putting the good stuff in up here, everything else gets better out here. Everything starts up here. And all the things that used to bother you won't bother you the same way that they, that they once were. Focus on working up, on up here. That's what's gonna make or break your future. So today I was in Regina at SIIT and I did a little mini entrepreneur seminar there and uh, there's a lot of good participants today. It was amazing. A lot of people thinking of starting and growing their own business. There's actually some people there that already started a business so it's pretty awesome. And you know there's so many resources available today. If you want to start your own business you can literally start today if you really wanted to. The only person that's gonna stop you is yourself. There's so many resources. All you gotta do is sit in front of the computer, find things, everything's going online. You can start an online business today if you want. If you wanna create a product, launch a service, anything. You can start today online. That's where everything's going right now. One of the things that I used to do was I used to look at successful people that I looked up to, whether it would be online, uh, in person, in, in Saskatoon, or at conferences and so on, and I studied them, you know, I, I really studied their behaviors, their mannerisms, how they greeted people, how they dress, how they, how they talk to people, how they treated people, and more importantly, their habits. You see, every single person that you're going to look up to in your life has certain habits that has allowed them to get to where they are today. So in order to be successful in whatever field that you want to be in, you have to find a successful person that you look up to and model their behavior. That's the fastest way that you can do it. Find someone that's successful and model their behavior. I used to start going for runs like they did. I used to start um, 
treating people the way that they did. He used to start answering my phone the way that they did and so on. So again, find a successful person that you look up to and model their behavior and apply it to your life so you can get there much faster. One of the things that I notice a lot of people that I look up to do is when they are, let's just pretend that they're meeting a customer service person in Walmart, the airport person, or whoever they might be running to every single day. They treat the same people with respect, no matter what position they have, no matter what opportunity they might not even give them or give them in the future. It's all, they're always being respectful to everyone. They're, they're having integrity. So if, if you want to get ahead and maintain getting ahead, you have to watch how you treat people. You have to treat people with respect. And you cannot expect to respect other people if you first don't respect yourself, okay? So once you have that self-respect, put it out there for other people, and that way you'll build a healthy brand for yourself and people will start to remember you for being respectful.